friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you've been keeping so very well. This week I wanted to bring you along for what I eat in a few days but in particular I also really wanted to have a strong focus on making budget friendly vegan meals and snacks in this video. I shared a video similar to this a few months ago and you seem to really enjoy it so if you finish this one and you feel like you want some more budget friendly meal inspiration I will have that one linked down in the description box. But as far as this video is concerned, we're gonna be focusing on making some meals that are not only delicious, that are also easy to make and affordable as well. So let's get into it. Let's start with breakfast this morning. <laughs> By the way, I've been meaning to say thank you to the person in the comments who told me to scrape with this side of the knife instead of the blade side of the knife because it's just been like a complete game changer. You guys seriously teach me so much. <laughs> wanting to try this hummus pasta for a while because I have seen it online so many times. This is such a budget friendly meal to make. If you have the time you could make your own hummus which would end up more affordable in the long run. I just got some hummus from my local supermarket. I just got whichever one was on special to be honest and was the most affordable and went with that. And all I did was mix some hummus with some of the pasta water as well as some lemon juice, salt and pepper to make like the pasta sauce. And then I've just got some pasta which is such an affordable staple i always make sure to have pasta in the house and then i also added in some cherry tomatoes and some spinach because they are affordable here at the moment when it comes to putting veggies in pasta i honestly just mix it up based on what i have in my fridge or my pantry at any given time last night my boyfriend made us a creamy pasta and we had broccoli kale and sweet potato in it and it was super good so i definitely encourage you to use whatever's in season and affordable uh, where you are or whatever you have on hand already but yeah this only took 15 minutes to make as well so it's actually a good working from home lunch as well um, and you could also bulk prep it if you wanted to let's see how this tastes it's still very very steaming hot right now but let's see how it is Mm. The internet is definitely right with this. It is super, super delish. So in the afternoon, I decided to do a little bit of sweetie treaty prep. And I started by blending some oats to make an oat flour, which is a really affordable and nutritious base for a sweetie treaty. Uh, I added this into a bowl with a little bit of salt and then I added in some maple syrup as well as some vanilla and some melted coconut oil. Then I mixed this together until it was nice and smooth before I added in some vegan choc chips and continued mixing this. From there, I then rolled them into little cookie dough balls and I placed them on some baking paper that was on a chopping board. And then once I'd used all of the mixture, I transferred this into the fridge. I also had some leftover uh, chocolate. So I decided to do some uh, strawberries dipped in chocolate, which I was gonna put in the fridge because strawberries are very much so in season here right now. And I have been very much so enjoying them. And I love chocolate dipped strawberries so much they're one of my favorite things like in the world in general okay so I have had a very very good snack making afternoon I made these like cookie dough ball bites with coconut oil some maple syrup and some oat flour for me when I'm making something like this because I do like to use almond meal a lot when I'm making treats and stuff like that Almond meal is definitely more of a pricey ingredient, but with my little mini food processor, I actually really like blending up oats and then having like an oat flour through them, which is a really good base for like a lot of sweet homemade treats. So that's what I did with those. And then I also just spontaneously decided to do some chocolate covered strawberries because I had leftover choc chips and I thought, why not melt them? And honestly, these are one of my favorite snacks. Strawberries are really affordable here in Australia at the moment. They've been like $2 a punnet, which is so good. So I've been enjoying them with like granola and stuff like that. But I also am such a chocolate girly that I really enjoy having chocolate covered strawberries in the fridge 
to enjoy for a few days and with these oat flour cookie dough balls as well I'm definitely gonna be set with sweet snacks for the week ahead anyway I'm gonna put these into containers and into the fridge and then I'm going to get into preparing dinner but first things first I want to say a big thank you to my friends at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video I recently updated my website with a bunch of new delicious vegan recipes so I'll leave that link down below if you do want to check it out if you're ever looking for some inspo, you can go to www.amandaducks.com and I like to try and keep it as updated as possible. And for those of you who don't know, I host and design that website using Squarespace and I've been using Squarespace for years. It's one of the most user-friendly platforms that I have ever used in my life. Whilst I'm very comfortable with video editing, I'm very comfortable with creating recipes. When it comes to the website side of things, I wasn't very confident going into making my website, but honestly, Squarespace space was like above and beyond in terms of like ease uh, than I expected. So it's honestly just been the biggest no-brainer for me to use Squarespace for a lot of aspects of my business. First of all, the blogging features are just seamless and so easy to use, so easy to duplicate blog posts to ensure that everything is in the same format across the website. It's also super easy to list my ebook and to be able to sell my ebook. The back end of Squarespace, the commerce back end is again seamless. I feel like if I had to describe Squarespace in one word, it would be seamless or like easy or something like that and then also being able to link all of my social media in one place is so perfect because obviously there are many different platforms that I am working on and I want everyone to be able to get as many vegan recipes as they would like so if you're ever looking to host or design your own website I highly recommend using Squarespace you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com forward slash Amanda Ducks and you can use my code Amanda Ducks which gets you 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay time to put these away and then we're getting into making dinner and tonight I am so excited to make dinner. I'm gonna make a shepherd's pie. I haven't had shepherd's pie in so long and it is one of my favorite dinners. We're gonna be using some TVP as well as lentils which is gonna make this a really good high protein meal as well if you are into making high protein meals you're probably gonna love this one it's budget friendly it's easy to make it's a great one to meal prep or prep for an entire family and yeah I couldn't rave about shepherd's pie enough it's just so good let's get into making it <laughs> so to make the shepherd's pie I cut up some white potatoes I either cut the skin off or peel the skin off whatever you prefer and then cut them into small pieces because then we're going to transfer them into a pot of boiling water and we're going to leave these to boil until they are nice and soft whilst that's happening I'm cutting up some brown onion i'm also cutting up some carrot dicing it as finely as i possibly can and then i'm also cutting up some celery in the same way as well as crushing some garlic and then slicing that as well then into a frying pan i added some oil followed by that onion and carrot and celery and garlic and started by frying that up then into a separate bowl i added some tvp which is some soy textured vegetable protein with some water and some vegan beef stock powder and a little bit of oil and i left that to sit for like five minutes then i added in tomato paste in with my veggies followed by that tvp mixture that i had prepared and i continued frying this all up also adding in a whole heap of brown lentils which are a super affordable protein source you can get from the supermarket i also added in some passata and then i kept mixing this all together frying it all up getting all of that delicious flavor through then uh, with the potatoes i put them into a bowl with some vegan butter as well as some veggie stock powder i love stock powders because they add so much flavor to something and you only need a little bit of it when it comes to assembling the pie i put that tvp lentil mixture on the base and then topped it with this delicious creamy mashed potato and yeah this was super super creamy and delish i had some breadcrumb mixture in the fridge so i just put some of that on top with a drizzle of olive oil and then transferred into the oven to bake for about 45 minutes as you can see it gets nice and golden on top and it is bubbling away which we love this made four serves so my boyfriend and I enjoyed a serve each for dinner and then we had a couple of serves left over that we were able to enjoy throughout the rest of the week So 
So breakfast this morning was some chocolate overnight oats, which actually reminds me so much of when I used to live in Melbourne because I used to have chocolate overnight oats for breakfast so often when I was working in hospitality and I needed to have a quick breakfast on the go. And especially as the weather starts to warm up here, I tend to crave overnight oats and smoothie bowls and things like that a lot more. And oats are just like such an affordable food. When it came to topping it with fruit, I just went for strawberries and banana that are both pretty affordable here at the moment, especially strawberries, as I mentioned yesterday. And so that was a really, really nourishing, quick uh, and easy breakfast. I know that sometimes oats can seem like a little bit kind of boring. They're very, uh, very much so a go-to for a lot of people. But the beautiful thing about oats, and I think the reason why they are so popular is because you can literally do so much with them and come up with different flavors like I'm such a chocolate girly so I love being able to put cacao and maple syrup in to my overnight oats and then have something delicious and chocolatey for breakfast anyway I'm about to make lunch and lunch today is gonna be so simple because I am working from home and I just need something quick and easy to make so I'm gonna make a salad sandwich I feel like salad sandwiches are so underrated. They are so delicious. And once again, as you get into the warmer months, I feel like I just crave them so much. And you can put whatever you like on them. So I have some hummus left over from my hummus pasta yesterday. So I'm going to put that on there as well as some Dijon mustard, some avocado, tomato, red onion, greens, cucumber, and potentially some carrot as well. But this is your gentle reminder. If you haven't made yourself a salad sandwich in a while, now is the time to do so. So they're a classic for a reason. Whilst I was working in the afternoon, I had a little sweetie treaty. You know, I love a sweetie treaty in the Arvo of a couple of those cookie dough balls. And then when it came to preparing dinner, I started with a block of tofu, which is such an affordable protein source and you can do so much with it. So I'm just doing one of my favorite uh, lunches and dinners at the moment. And I'm starting by frying up the tofu in a little bit of oil and soy sauce. And my favorite ingredient of all time at the moment, teriyaki sauce, which is super affordable and adds so much flavor. So I kept frying that up until it got nice and crispy and once it was getting close I transferred it onto a lower heat and then I was prepping some rice. So I had some rice in the fridge that I needed to use up so I just transferred that into a pan over the heat and added in some white wine vinegar as well as a little bit of sesame oil and uh, yeah I kept frying that up whilst I also cut up some cucumbers and then I assembled this delicious bowl which was the rice, some greens, some teriyaki tofu, then I also added on the cucumber as well as a drizzle of vegan mayo and then I also put on some fried onions as well as some sesame seeds and then I also had a leftover serve of the rice as well as the teriyaki tofu so I put this into a container into the fridge to enjoy at a later date and I very much so enjoyed this dinner. It is one of my favorites right now. Good morning. I had a slow start to the day today. Had a little bit of a sleep in. Went for a little bit of a walk. It was absolutely divine. Now I'm about to have breakfast and I prepped extra of those chocolate overnight oats. So that is what I'm going to be having for breakfast today. They still look pretty runny to be honest. I'm pretty sure I did them way too liquidy. But I prefer when my overnight oats have too much liquid rather than not enough how are we looking yeah that's pretty liquidy <laughs> oh well it just kind of makes it like a chocolate cereal kind of moment so i'm just gonna cut up some strawberries and some banana to put on top again I'm pretty basic with this kind of stuff. And this banana still looks decent, so that's good. I honestly feel like I'm about to go through another chocolate overnight oats phase, <laughs> having done them in this video, because they taste really, really good. And they also just like fill me up so well and give me so much energy for like the morning, especially if I have a busy morning or something like that. It is just such a good breakfast. So there we have it. There's breakfast done in like five minutes this morning. 
absolutely love that. This is overflowing so much because I put so much liquid in it. Okay, I'm going to enjoy ooh, my chalky overnight oats right now that are very, very liquidy and I keep spilling them everywhere, but that's fine. And I'm going to do my dishes from last night that I've been avoiding and I will catch up with you when it is time for some lunch. So for my delicious lunch today, I ended up having another one of those teriyaki tofu and rice balls. I had the leftover tofu and rice in the fridge. I just heated that up and then I served it with some greens, cucumber, avocado, some vegan mayo, some fried onions and some sesame seeds. It was super, super delicious. Honestly, one of my favorite meals at the moment. And it's very, very helpful that it is easy to make on a budget as well. Honestly, one of the best things I've learned to do in terms of eating on a budget is eating my leftovers as well as repurposing my leftovers. Sometimes I'll have a whole block of tofu, for example, and I will prep like a whole batch of teriyaki tofu. And that's something that I can use in sandwiches. It's something that I can use in rice bowls. It's something that I can use in bows and things like that that are really quick to throw together. And then that also helps with reducing the amount of time that you're spending cooking as well. Anyway, I'm gonna get into making dinner for the night and I'm gonna make a butter bean curry. Now I love making Making curries because they are super delicious they're nourishing uh, they fill me up and make me feel really good but something else that I love about them is the fact that they can be very very budget friendly and you can also mix up uh, whether you'd like to have like tofu or chickpeas uh, into your curry instead and you can also mix up the veggies that you want to have in there as well so there's a lot of versatility so I definitely encourage exploring that uh, when it comes to making curries but yeah I'm gonna get into making this butter bean curry and I'm very excited to have it for dinner tonight. So to make the curry, I start with a pan over the heat as always, well, as most of the time with my cooking, with a little bit of oil and some red onion. I then also added in some of this store-bought Masaman curry paste, followed by a can of coconut milk. And I mix this all together, getting all of that flavor. Then I added in my cannellini beans because it turned out I didn't have any butter beans at home. I just had an excessive amount of cannellini beans. And I also added in some veggie stock powder as well as some peanut butter, which I love adding into curries for extra creaminess and an extra hit of flavor. So I kept mixing this up, getting it really nice and creamy, which was super delish. And then I added in some spinach and I continued cooking that up for about another minute until it wilted well. Then I transferred this curry into a bowl and I served it with some store-bought naan bread, which is pretty affordable. And I very much so enjoyed eating this curry for dinner. And this very simple curry is gonna bring us to the end of a few days of budget friendly meals i hope you enjoyed this video and got some fresh new ideas from it if you have any tips for eating vegan on a budget feel free to leave them in the comments below and as always thank you so much for being here i appreciate it so much and i will see you next week with another video have a good day bye